Well, hey folks. All right. I hope everybody is doing well. Today is a Monday, and yes, it is 1 p.m. in the afternoon. 1300 for some of you, and we're gonna get on with it. Right. So, <clears throat> what I want to try to do today is. And I'm going to keep the stream open for as long as we have to to get the do done. But we're going to finish up introducing the sim, moving around, getting the sim to move around, go here, go there. Um, if anybody realizes, you, uh, Cindy just posted the invite to the Discord. Um, if you would like to come join us in Discord and you want to be heard, like actually talk and ask a question, uh, we have that's that's what we're on right now. So without further ado, last time we left off of our little spastic simmer. Well, it looks like we got a lot less lag time than we did the last time. I'll take it. And I put a couple of little surprises in here. Let's, uh, let's bring our little spastic simmer out to show off his new outfit. How about that? Sorry, I didn't mean to have my glove. <laughs> How about that? Got my wee kilt on and my boots, and I'm ready to go. It, sounds, it looks like you. Uh, probably about 15 years ago. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Is that close to you? All right, so let's get started here with a couple of camera views, all right? I'm sure you guys noticed by now, you've seen me bring the walls up, and you've seen me go up and go down, take the walls down, and take the walls all the way down, okay? The keystrokes to do that when you're working in a house, and of course I'll cover it again in build mode, but the same operations is the same in build mode as it is in um, live mode. Some people call it live mode, so don't take me off the shoulders. I'm going to use the word live mode. Ah, ah, ah. Um, so let's say i've just done some remodeling and i really kind of want to know what everything looks like well i can hit home um hit the home key twice and it brings up all the walls of course it makes my sim a little hard to see so if the walls are all the way down and i hit home once okay if i hit the home key one time it pulls the walls up partially And the good thing for that is, if you're, if you're following your sim, and he's going to move around the house, you know, if he goes where, if he goes where um, it's going to be hard for you to see, and you need to rotate that camera, you can do so in that wall will partially disappear. Now, me, normally, when I'm playing the game, I hit the end key, so to bring the walls down, walls are both up, I'm going to hit the end key, and I'm going to hit the end key again, and the walls go up and down. Well, I don't know where my home key and my end key, they say to Don, Don, what the hell do I do if I can't find my home key and end key? Well, I got an answer for you folks. Right up here 
in your control dashboard, you can either lower up, lower down. You can also click on walls down or walls up, walls partially down, walls all the way down, wash it, wash it, wow, fat damn, I can't talk, walls up or down. So if you don't know where your end key or your home key is, or you're working on a laptop that the home key and the end key is a pain in the cojones to get to, you can use these sets of buttons up here and your control dashboard in the top right. Okay. Um, what is the eight, you may say? Well, I've already kind of sort of covered the gallery. That means I have um, eight things in the gallery from where new people have posted things. Uh, if somebody has downloaded one of my bills, I'll see it here. So, you, it, once you click on it and you exit the gallery, of course that 8 goes away, but I'm really kind of glad it's there because I have had people uh, send me things. And of course, like I said before, your notification wall. Guys, y'all really, really want to keep an eye on that. Um, Cindy, are you handy? Yeah, I'm here. I got a spammer in chat. Would you please kick him? Do you want to make me a mod and I can do that? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that, it, I, I asked you if you wanted me to and you never answered. Oh my god, I totally didn't hear you. I'm so sorry. Oh no, I sent you a message. You know, one of those strange things made of text. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, that's okay. A <laughs> hundred lashes with a wet noodle to you. <laughs> yeah, I know some people may like that. Um, Alright, so give me just a half yeah. a moment here so I can... Alright, he's gone. Okay, good. Alright, so... Sarah, if you can remember, send me a message in the Facebook um, Spastic Simmer chat. Yes. And remind me to go poof and make you a mod. Okay. You know, you can do that in the middle of streaming, right? Yeah, but I have to pull all that shit back up. How do I do that? Fair enough. Fair what's, enough. The, what's the easy way? Can I right-click on you? Nope. Yeah, I think you right-click on me, or you just type in mod like you would type in the chat um so you do slash mod and then my username yeah so like it won't let me right click on you yeah, so I would type in your chat slash mod space Sarah Banana. Nope, you have to do it. I don't have permission. And there we go. Alright, Cindy Lou who banned somebody. One message deleted by moderator. And so Sarah Banana, you are now a mod. Sweet. Thank you very much. Okay, why is my little sim guy all so unhappy? Hey Don, do you ever play with full autonomy off stream? Do I ever play with what? Full not auto Nami? Like when you oh. make them do their own thing? Full autonomy. Oh, hang on. Talk that's what I you run. Don't have I run full autonomy all the time. So yes, that's that's a part of my uh, that's a part of my cheats. 
but I try to um, I try to let my sims run full autonomy unless I'm teaching or doing something like that. <clears throat> Paul's playing with half autonomy, and it's like I'm watching him do stupid, crazy things. So, did anybody catch what I just did? No. Nobody caught what I just did. Well, you see, there's a there's a new thing, and I think it's built into MCC Command Center. Notice he's a wee bit hungry. Well, he's not really, but got a little good little green left here yeah if I right click it brings me up a commodity stat all on Discord. where if I want to set him at a hundred percent I can set him at a hundred percent and he's no longer gonna be uh, hungry all right does anybody realize See. Shift tab. Hey, Don. Hello. After broadcast, can you talk to Paul for a little bit? Oh. Inappropriate. <laughs> okay, he's get, catching on Discord. Okay, so I'm in first person view right now. Yeah, how do you get that way? Shift tab. Shift tab, and yes, with certain particular mods of which we will not discuss, um, mm -hmm. you can actually see things in first person, first yeah. person view. And this is also a good way that you can take a look at your house if you've done any modifications. Like for example, when uh, when I build a new house and I go through it for the first time, I always put my sim in first person view. So I can see what's going on. Now the way you get out of first person view is just hit the escape go. key. Just hit the escape key. Alright, uh, one of the things I want to go over here is I'm going to pause the game. Does anybody remember the keystroke to pause and play? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Does anybody remember the keystroke to pause and play? No, I think it's the space bar. Nope. Zero, one through five. Nope. Or one through three. Nope. Y'all are going to hate me. To play is to pee. To pause is to pee. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Anybody remember how to keystroke the fast forward and the double time? What game are you talking about? Sims. What game do you think I'm talking about? The only game I play, which is Sims. Okay, because I tried TNT on, on 4 and it doesn't work. The letter P pauses and the letter P plays. Not on his. I have to look at his settings. Well, I mean, this is uh, now. Also, if you want to, you can do zero, and then you can do one, or two, or three, like what Paul was saying a while ago. So, if I want to unpause, I can hit. No, that's double time. If I want to unpause, I can hit one. If I want to pause, I can hit zero. But P and P has just always worked for me. I mean, I'm doing it right now. Yeah, it, it works. It works. P and P. Ha ha. Okay. But <laughs> anyway, if, if I want to fast forward, yes, you are right. Um, two doubles the speed and three triples the speed. All right. Now, what I asked earlier about autonomy is I'm I'm trying full autonomy, but disabled for selected tune or sim. 
meaning I have complete and constant control of the sim that I'm focused on, but everything else around her is autonomy, free will. I run my game free will all the way through. And uh, the I, reason I tried that. Yeah, go ahead. Well, the, the reason for the, the free will all the way through is if I'm busy looking at someone else or answering a question or chatting to someone because somebody like me is easily distracted. <clears throat> Coral, no. Um, <laughs> when he gets hungry, he'll eat. When he's got a potty, he'll go potty. When he needs to go to bed, he'll go to bed. Right, but he'll also go and do other stupid stuff. <laughs> well, that's Sims, dude. I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> they're not the, they're not as they're not the brightest brightest bulbs in the memory chip. <laughs> well, one of the things you'll notice with the Sims, okay, and I don't know if anybody else has noticed it, but like for example, on my save game, my personal save game. I very seldom have to tell any of my sims to do anything. Uh, guys, I have to go, but I'll be back after I back you. Okay, okay. sir. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Um, so the longer you allow them to run autonomy, the, the better off you are. Why? And, you know, it, it does take patience, right? All right. So one of the big things that everybody needs to know is you'll notice on the refrigerator, a lot of the questions I've had is, you know, how do you, how do you feed your sim? Well, you, you can either click on the refrigerator or you can click on the stove. But when you click on the refrigerator, if you're not sure what all is in the refrigerator, depending on how many options, you can click more choices and then click open to open the fridge and it's going to tell you what's in it. Mine just happens to be there's not a damn thing in it. I got mac and cheese. <laughs> all right. So if you want to watch something kind of funny, um, I'm going to go cook, and then it's going to open a store menu where I can purchase what I want to cook. Right. So, I'm just, just because I want to, I'm going to tell him to do a uh, prank and whatever that is. David, how did you get prank and beans? Yeah, Frank and Bean. That's it. How, how'd you get? Oh, probably something downloading. Oh, what level is your guy anyway? Your cooking skill? Uh, two, maybe three, I think. He's still a oh, bit. Okay. He's still a bit clumsy. Oh, because mine. I'm only a one. I've been up to the cooking three, and I haven't gotten Frank and Beans yet. But I guess at random. Yeah, I mean, once once you go into the to the. Uh, to the refrigerator store, as I call it, but once it takes you into the option to be able to buy certain groceries, um, let me look at what his. Yeah, I'm at a cooking skill two. Okay. And I have very carefully on this particular guy for teaching purposes not done any. Um, cheating whatsoever on uh his uh, his skills his personality his uh anything i haven't i haven't done any cheats on anything except for when i want to uh customize cas then i use the customized cas cheat and if you want to know what those cheats are my notes um my notes what are available. He... Okay, I, I got a, I, I, I have a question. All right. What does CAS stand for? 
What, what is that? Creative Sim. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. So. Okay. So when, um, you know, going back at our Sim, if I left click on Sim, or if I left click on my Sim, you don't see any place, even though I go more choices, more choices, more choices, you don't see any place where it offers the ability to go into CAF. Here's where the shift click, you hold the shift key down and hit click. You're going to see Oh, well, shit, stupid, I forgot to enable CAS cheats. See? I'm used to my, mm -hmm. I'm used to my other game where all that shit, <laughs> where some of that shit is uh, auto-enabled. Yep. Which is probably oh, like mine. Well, which, I have which, not, which you set up. <laughs> I've not found yet where there is a all in one or a selective cheat. I've found a boatload of them, but I have not found any that will actually work. So does anybody remember what I told them? The key sequence is to open the cheat bar in Sims. The key sequence to open these cheat bar oh. in Sims. Anybody remember what the key sequence is? Control Shift C, right? Absolutely. So he does if I hit Control Shift C in the upper left hand corner, it's going to bring us up a text box. Yeah, where they call the command bar. Correct. And then I'm just simply because my memory is like a sieve. I'm just simply going to highlight my CAS full edit mode and drop it, hit enter, and it appears to do nothing, but it really actually does work. Now, there is available out there a testing cheats truth, okay, so that you don't have to type in ch uh, testing cheats every time before you want to run anything like BB moves. Uh, BB show hidden all of that. Uh, you can find it. It's um, it's in, it's on the sim sim community. I've got a couple of those links in. Um, got a couple of those links in CAS and mods and stuff in our Discord. I'll put a couple of those links out there. Uh, Google is your friend, also big time when it comes to sims. No, yeah, but anyway. Big time. Once I, once I've got that cheat in, I hit the escape key. Now, if I shift click on my happy sim, somewhere in here is going to be. Well, where the hell did it go? Power page. It's usually like on the first. Watch me make a fool out of myself. This is going to piss me off. Outfits. Because it's always right there on the choice. All right. Hold the shift key. Click. That's the B gross. Outfits. Blah, blah, blah. Font. Uh, no. Not interested in a phone call right now. I'm looking for something. Hmm. Is my ship click even working? So, what the hell? Well, one thing about it, you, um, Wait a minute. I wonder. 
Wonder, wonder, wonder. Well, of course, <laughs> I have to remind myself that I pulled almost all of the mods out of this game for teaching purposes. My yeah, dumbass, hope. my dumbass did not enable cheats to begin with. Okay. Huh? I, I was going to say, obviously you have there it all is. the mods I have. Well, um, where did you get the other mods you have? All over the place. There's no... Honestly, there is no specific location in which to get mods. However, in the Discord channel under CAS and Build Mods, I have put some addresses in there, like for example, um, the simssource.com, the simssource.com is probably the best place I've ever seen for clothing. Um, Love's Lab is for adult clothing. A, yeah. You know, it, it's like all over the place. Okay. And if you will, um, if you'll watch in our Discord that CAS and Bill mods, that's where I will put all sorts of uh, Bill buy mods, uh, you know, different different mods to do different things. And then, of course, a little up, there will be cheats and workarounds. I've already got some really good, um, really good options in there under cheats and workarounds under text channels. So, but see, you'll notice, like, right now, <clears throat> I'm really not paying any attention to my sim whatsoever. And he's just, he's taking care of himself. I mean, you know, he's doing what he needs to do. Um, but if you'll notice, once I enable cheats and then I typed in the CAS cheat I now have shift click and there's my modifier in CAS so it's a two it's a two-step process until you locate the mod that always enables testing cheats right and once I actually find it again I might, uh, once I actually find it again, I might zip it and put it in, um, put it in, um, put it in our mods area. Now you'll notice our little happy vampire here, he's fixing to get him some. Blah, 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 blah. Now, I just clicked on him and told told him to send him home, right? That is the way you keep from getting bit, especially when he has zonged your sim. You'll notice the little swirlies up there. Uh, my sim has been hypnotized. However, to keep your sim from getting bitten by a vampire, you can click on the vampire and send them home. And damn if here's not another one. Uh, go home. Oh, wait, no, he has to be invited in. Do not invite his ass in. So, <clears throat> if, if you look at what's going on around you, you have to keep you have to keep an eye on uh, how their how their uh, bladder and you know how their needs are, right? Yeah. But if you're out and about and you just really can't get no, stop. Hey. Hey. Welcome back. 
Okay, more choices. But I'm trying to get my damn sim to stop getting bit by a goddamn vampire. Dag dag. Yeah, you no. have vampires? What? You have vampires? Oh yeah. yeah has, uh, I, I've got the yeah. Uh, invite in more choices. Rude, rude introduction. I'm looking for my send his ass home. Oh hell with it! I'll do a rude introduction. So anyway, um, my sim is still hypnotized from the last vampire that came by. You know. Um, so what I want to what I want to cover here is. You've noticed I've been clicking, uh, shift clicking, moving around, what have you. And there are some people that have not known how to, like say for example, your sim will almost always leave something that's cooked on the counter, right? Right. Well, I've had some questions as to how do they know what the food, the, the, you know, the food quality is and when it's going to spoil. If you hover over it, you don't have to click on it, just hover over it. It's going to say quality normal made by blah, blah, blah. There's eight, eight servings left and there are three hours and 13 minutes until spoiled. I say again, that is three minutes and 13 seconds of our time. Every minute that we have is a Sims hour. Right. Well, actually, actually, well, a day is 24 minutes. Same difference. If a day is 24 minutes, then one hour is one minute. Oh, duh. My bad. That's all right. That's okay. Um, yeah. I was trying to figure out the average lifespan of a Sim, and I came up with, like, I think 50 hours. Well, I've got all of that cut off. <laughs> oh, you, your sim doesn't age? Nope. Oh. <coughs> and if anybody <coughs> wants to know where that's at, I can show you in a matter of seconds, but I want to finish this. Um, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, you're fine. That's, that's part of the training tutorial, man. I'm, gonna, I'm going to finish up this today and um, tomorrow, if I don't have any appointments, we're going to move into bill mode. Understanding. Now that I need to watch. I have no clue how to build. I mean, I can build, but my high, oh my God, it's frustrating. Well, I hear you. But before we go into bill mode, I need to take you guys through file, stru file structure and show you how to install a mod and exactly what it is you're looking at. That's that's going to be tomorrow's video. It's handling build, uh, file structure, how file structure. to install and organize your mods, okay? Because okay. if you're not comfortable with file structure, you will absolutely knock your cojones in the dirt trying to figure it out. So that's going to be tomorrow's stream. Anyway, so... When it comes to stuff that's left out on the counter, right? If it's a dirty dish, you can drag it into the sink or you can tell your sim. Um, if I click on this, I can either put it away, clean it up. Um, guys, don't get used to putting food in your inventory. <laughs> food in your inventory will spoil and you'll forget it's there. And then your sim's going to walk around going, ew, you know, because they got shit that stinks and they don't know where it's at. Oh, that's my mind's doing that. Yeah. Well, also, too, if they're doing that, you need to look around in your household for something that is spoiled, out of place. Maybe the trash needs to be taken out. Dirty clothes will cause them to do that. And a dirty commode will also cause them to do that. Yeah. But sometimes, if my sim's busy doing something and I want to put a dish away, I'll just grab it with a left mouse button and drag it over until the refrigerator highlights. Everybody see that? The refrigerator will highlight and you release it. Now if I click on my refrigerator and I click on open, 
you will see that I have the um, Franken Franken beans, and they've got two days left on them in the refrigerator. So also, your sim does periodically need to clean out spoiled food. And the way you know if there's spoiled food in the refrigerator is you single click on it or you left click on your refrigerator and there will be an option there that says uh, clean out spoiled food. Right? And one of the ones that I like to use most of all, especially in some of the bigger bills, is auto lights. I have a question. Okay. If your sim doesn't want to take a bath, what do you do? <clears throat> Make it. You click on the bathtub or the shower and you tell it, take a shower. Okay. And of course, you know, now, eventually she will. Well, what you do is you. over here on the left hand bottom side where you have your SIM controls. You can click on exit to exit everything they want to do with the exception of what you told them to do. And you'll notice it stacked it and he's on his way to do what he was told. So what you need to do is when you have a sim with a bad attitude and they just absolutely flat refuse to do what you tell them to, then I usually tell my sim to come out in the open where I can find them. I pause and I'm going to shift click and I'm going to reset object. Everybody you see that? What? Okay. If you've got a sim that absolutely refuses to follow instructions, if they get stuck behind something, if they, if if they're absolutely got a serious oh. case of hit up butt, you can shift click on your sim and click on reset object, and it will literally reset that object back to a neutral stand. Got a phone call. Bear back. Shift click gives you different and and more options. That okay. is correct. That is correct. I didn't even know that, and I do. Oh my god. <laughs> um. So shift click is your friend. Now I will tell you, shift click does not always work on everything. It works on the mailbox. It works on your Sims. It works on some adult items, um, what have you. But what I was going to show you is the thing auto lights, right? Any yeah. light in the house, any light in the house can be put on auto lights by clicking on that particular light. Click auto lights and you can either say this light, all lights, or just this room. Everybody's right. stream showing that now? Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I don't know where your stream is because I glance at mine every once in a while to be sure it hasn't frozen. Well, I'm watching Cindy's. Oh, got it. I can't. I, I'm, I'm in Sims myself. Got it. So, so what I do. I'm looking at uh -huh. the stream right now. Uh huh. Is it looking okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah, Tammy said if you aren't in cheat mode, you can go into build mode, set a table or something on top of the sim, and it'll be the same thing. Uh, yep. Yeah. It sure will. I, I mean, I've never had to do that. I just reset them and, and go on, you know. But if you'll notice, I just clicked on auto lights, and I chose auto lights for the entire house you know, all lights. 
And what that does is, is when he goes from room to room, it turns off the lights automatically in those rooms, which I wish I could do for my daughter. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm not really. But um, Oh, in other words, the entire house won't be on at night. It'll only be whatever room he's in. And when he goes in that dark room, the lights will come on. That is correct. Oh, and how did you do that again? You any any light that you can get a hold of, right? Auto light. Okay. Any light you just, you uh, you click on it, you go auto lights, and you can choose this room. All lights or just this one light. And all lights means it's when he like like the bathroom's dark. If she goes to pee, the bathroom lights will come on when she leaves. The bathroom lights will go off. That is correct. And also you'll notice when he went to sleep, all of the lights in the house went out. Cool. Thank you. Yep. That's part of the reason I really like the live chat and the discord because it gives people a chance to vocalize their questions. Sometimes people can't really, um, you know, they don't know how to to ask. Right. (laughs) And, um, you know, let me tell you, uh, My- My- Mystic Fire Fay over there, she is an absolute guru when it comes to a lot of this crap. Um, it's her fault I got addicted to Sims in the first place. <laughs> yeah, I'll get in trouble for that later. <clears throat> so, um, one of the other things I want to show you guys, you know, pretty much everything else in the house, you do need to periodically keep an eye on the mailbox. Right. Um, if you have the university fax installed, you you have the ability to choose university, you know, figure out or find a university. And if you shift click on the mailbox, you'll notice you have some different um, different options. You're going to resign. Now. If you have cheats enabled, you can either shift click on your sim and change their needs, or you can shift click on the mailbox and go alter needs, and it will give you multiple different options that you can choose. So as you can tell, it would take us several weeks to go through every single solitary click option, shift click option that there is. But just know that there are a number of objects that have alternative options under shift click. Like for example, if I shift click on the trash can, Now, you guys will not see Tool unless you're running that mod. And the the modder that does those mods is in the the cheats and workarounds section of our Discord. I did put his webpage in there. Um, He really gets into some of the deep shit. Okay. So you can reset object, uh, set as head. Now, I I still don't get why you would want to set a trash can or a mailbox as head. Because typically that would only be done for like a couch or something, you know. Set as head. But... So, you know, if you've got an object that a sim refuses to sit on or interact with, you can reset that object. If you've got an object... What is resetting it do? It resets it to neutral. Oh, okay. Like, say, for example, there's a piece of code uh, hung in that couch, and no matter what you do, no matter what you tell him, he refuses to sit on that couch. Um, sometimes in a build, if you click on a shower and tell your sim to take a shower, 
and they essentially flip you off and they go, what? And they'll hold their hand up in the air like, I can't do that. Mm. Well, either the shower is broke or if I hit home, either the shower is broke or they might be something in the way of that door. Like, there may be a toy in the way that you can't see. There may be, um, and you'll run into this a lot in build mode. You might have your door jam set a little bit out of kilter or overlapping something. But if your sim just absolutely flat ass refuses to take a shower, you can reset him by shift clicking and hit reset object. And then you can reset the shower by shift clicking and reset object. If he still refuses to take a damn shower, um, replace the shower. Go into build mode and replace the shower, which we'll, we'll be talking about a little later. Not today, but a little later. Dude, man, you need to get off your ass and go eat. In case you hadn't noticed, you absolutely want to watch your Sims needs. Watch for anything to go red. Um, like I said in the beginning, your sim can um, can die of hunger. And yes, that little click that I just did that brought that hunger and brought that uh, ladder out of red is a mod. It is a TS4 mod. If I can remember what the damn name of it is, I'll zip it and put it in the um, file section of cheats and what have you. Okay. Um, guys, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to go get off my feet. My leg's really swollen. Okay. All right. Can you, All right. The, can you do the stream running? I'm going to be watching on Twitch on my phone. Yeah, but leave the stream running for me so yeah, I can see it. I can do that. Anyway, I'm right. sorry, Don. No, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Now, let's see. It is 7.51 a.m. You got enough sleep. I'm going to um, go ahead and get up. Yeah? I'm going to jump out of the voice chat, but I'll still be watching the stream yeah yeah that'd so be I'll, great i'll be doing my moderator duties ah mm. thank you thank you i appreciate it <laughs> of course all right bye ah. all right so one of the other things that we need to look at is how to get around the world once you have played a sim and depending on what packs you have and you decide you want to travel well the first thing you need to do is you need to be sure you got enough simoleons uh, he's got about six thousand five hundred and forty three simoleons <clears throat> that's really not going to be enough to travel so you can either do it by earning your money or if you've got cheats enabled this is not a mod this is not a uh, cheat well it's a cheat but it's not a mod something you have to download this is built in it's called mother load so you're going to control shift c type in mother load and hit enter and you'll notice he just jumped up to more simoleons Again, that's Control Shift C and type in the word mother load, M O T A T R L O D E, and hit enter. And you've got some traveling money. So, if I wanted to go visit the neighbor, I could go to a neighbor's house and click on their door and click on visit the dolphins but no one's home it 
if I want to check the other side of the street. Okay, I can visit Randy Hedge Hed Hedgens. Never could pronounce that. So if I click here, and he's just going to go by himself. He's not going to take anybody else with him. But if he wanted to take somebody else with him, they would be listed here. This is your uh, friends. Well, supposed friends. If it's red, they're probably an enemy. They don't like you anyway. I'm going to tell him, okay, we're going to get a loading screen and we're going to travel to the neighbor, meet the neighbor, see what's going on. But that's how you travel around in your neighborhood. And then, of course, once I get here, well, I want to be a, I want to be a nice neighbor and knock Whoa, on the door. <laughs> Whoa, he's flirty. I'm gonna knock on the door. I'm gonna follow my sim. Now, see, here's the interesting part. You'll notice it flashed a while ago, and there was nothing there. So it takes a moment to load. So. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do a friendly introduction. And this really does help your, your Sims with their social skills, uh, getting to know people, learning how to travel, and going other places. Up across the top, when you are talking to a sim, it's going to show you a relationship bar. And in that relationship bar, you can tell that every time a little green plus one comes up, he likes him less and less and starts to like him a little more and a little more. So if I click on the neighbor, and um, I basically, you know, just more choices. I want to be, um, I want to be friendly. Just if there it is, friendly. Um, ask about the day. So, you know, you can, you, that's the way you make friends. You, you get to know your neighbors, you, you get to know people around you. Anybody in chat or Discord have any questions on that? Uh, no. All right. I get that. Yeah, you're fine. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and send him home. Because the last thing I want to show you guys today in getting to know your sim and getting to know what your sim is capable of is how to travel. Okay. Kind of give you kind of give you guys an idea just real quick of how to travel. And um, I'm kind of letting the stream catch up with me now for some reason. It seems to be lagging a little bit. I don't know if anybody that can actually see the stream can post uh, post in the chat area whether or not it's real laggy. It looks like it is on my yeah. end, but I don't know. It is a little bit. Right, so I'm going to show you guys how to travel and then how to come back home and I think we'll, um, I think we'll call it a day, but tomorrow I probably won't bring Sims up at all because I'm going to be sharing a screen and I'm going to be talking to you guys through file structure 
Some of you that have never done it before really need to learn how because if you put a mod in the wrong place, it won't work. So if you want to travel or if you want to go see somebody, you click on your cell phone, click on the button that says travel, <clears throat> and you can either travel to, you know, you can travel with somebody, but I'm just going to click on me just for giggles. I'm not actually going to go anywhere. But under travel, you notice it brings my, um, it brings my worlds back up. If I click on my globe, then I can travel to any of these worlds. Right? So if I want to go back, I can, um, I can just click exit which cancels the travel. I want to show you something here that a lot of people don't realize. There's a difference between just traveling and taking a vacation. If I click on take a vacation, then depending on what packs you have installed, it's going to bring up the vacation worlds here. Destination worlds, um, or you can travel to Mount Kamabari if you have that pack. There's the Star Wars, Granite Falls, and uh, Sal Salvadora, which is the forest. But those are your vacation spots depending on what, what pack you have installed. So, what I'd like to ask is, does anyone have any questions? I realize right now uh, we've only got three live viewers, so it says, um, but you guys that will be watching the pre-recorded broadcast later and possibly watching it on YouTube, um, click like, click subscribe, and... and um, and uh, Twitch, damn, my brain went blank. See, I told you the spastic simmer, that's me. Uh, in Twitch, be sure you follow us. The more people we get to follow us, the faster we get to where people can actually uh, subscribe to our channel. So... If you have any questions, or if you think maybe we need to do a short stream later, or if you just got basic questions, um, be sure and post them in, in the Discord. Um, and one of us will get back at you. You know, if, if I see it sooner than the rest, I will try to reply with an answer. And if I don't have the answer, by God, I'll tell you, I got Google. But, nope, wasn't talking to you, Google. Thanks very much. So... Well, I got plenty of questions, but I'll save them that way we're not overloading the... <laughs> well, um... Some of them are not stream-worthy. How's that? Oh, got it. Yes, yes, got it. Okay. I get it. I get it. Well, of course, um, once I'm done, uh, once I'm done with the stream, I'll stay in Discord while I'm downloading and edit editing the video, getting it ready to go up to YouTube. I'm just kind of giving the stream and everything a chance to catch up.
uh, Paul, if you want, you can stay in the Discord chat, and once I go offline, we can continue to chat if you like. Okay. He's done streaming. Almost. Almost. Well, all right, there's the end of our broadcast for today, folks. I definitely appreciate you for watching. Uh, be sure and click on that follow. The more followers we get, the closer we get to where we can actually have subscribers. If you have any questions, run on over to our Discord. Ask your question. Feel free there. And uh, let us know what you think. Because, you know, we're here to help you guys out. Have a great day. And we'll catch you next time on the Spastic Streamer. Or the Spastic Simmer. Whoever the hell I am, the Spastic Simmer. <laughs>